Spencer Lazara, MMAinterviews.tv. We're here in Huntington Beach. I'm alongside Mr. Rick Hahn. Got a huge fight here. The debut of Bellator on Spike TV against Mike Chandler there for the lightweight championship. How are you feeling going in? Uh, safe to say this is the biggest fight of your career? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely the biggest fight of my career. Um, uh, I'm excited. You know, it's, it's very, very exciting to be on the debut show for, uh, for Bellator on Spike TV. So uh, a lot of press, a lot of excitement going on this week, and uh, I can't wait to the fight. Has it been any different knowing in terms of press coverage and media uh, tasks for you while in training camp this go around? Uh, not till like the last week and a half or so. You know, uh, it was it was pretty dead for a while. I mean, they they waited a while to announce it, but um, I was like, oh, it's gonna be like normal. You know, not not a whole lot going on. But you know, once you get down here and you see all the craziness going on here, it's, it's really exciting for uh, for not only the fighters but the Bellator uh, crew as well. You know, and Bjorn and everyone. So everyone's really excited. Have Have you? thought about the process it's been to get to this point you've been through the tournament obviously you've earned this title shot does that make it that much more satisfying absolutely um, uh, I don't like freebies you know um, but uh, definitely you know the way Bellator does it to, to get the title shot you have to win the tournament so it's 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 very legitimate and um, you know and and through that tournament you know I pretty much walked through the whole thing um, this last time around so uh, I'm very excited I'm ready to go um, uh, I can't wait to fight Mike Chandler is a guy that I've had the pleasure of being around a lot. He's very well-rounded and, you know, I think one of the better lightweights in the world. What gives you the confidence going in against a guy like Mike that you can uh, impose your will and, and use your skills against him? Well, uh, I believe the same thing about myself as well. You know, I guess I have to, you know. But, um, you know, I've had a pretty extensive athletic career. I've competed at high levels all over the world. So, um, you know, I know how to prepare for, for a fight and uh, a tournament, say, or, or what, what have you. But, uh, you know, uh, I've been working on my skills. Like, like you said, he's, he's very tough. Um, so I really had to bring up my, my, my training and, and focus and, and preparation for this because it is a title fight. Your judo background, is that something you expect to come into play in this fight? You never know. Um, everyone always, you know, brought up, brings that up, you know, and a lot of times it, it never happens, you know. But, you know, I expect this fight to go be everywhere, you know, uh, with his wrestling background, my judo background, and we're, and we're both pretty good strikers too, so um, it has the potential to be crazy. Are you confident? Yeah, in those scrambles? He's a guy who, who seems to just own those scrambles, really loves to be in that scrambling position. Is that something that you think you can still win, despite him being uh, at a high level in that department? Um, I don't know. If we were just straight wrestling, probably not. You know, but this is MMA, so uh, you know a lot of factors involved um, other than just wrestling. But uh, he is very skilled at that, and you know I've worked towards that. And uh, you know I, I I think I'm a decent grappler as well. So you know uh, we'll we'll see what happens. Talk about your training camp and uh, who you've been uh, training with. Uh, training camp's been awesome. You know I've been in Montreal at TriStar Gym for the last uh, 12 weeks basically. I moved up there this time just for this fight, you know, just because it was uh, the magnitude of it. Um, so I've been training with guys like George St. Pierre, Rory McDonald, Mark Bocek, uh, John McDessey, you know, some 55ers as well. So, uh, you know, and there's a ton of other great guys up there. Amateur guys, too, are awesome up there. So uh, I've had a great camp. That's got to give you a lot of confidence going with those guys. Who's the toughest round, maybe, uh, in sparring and in grappling, I guess, of those guys? Uh, I'd say Rory is. He's uh, he's an animal, you know. But uh, there, I mean, everyone up there is at a high level, and it's awesome to be with that group of guys. Did you bring some of your your older coaches as well, and, and your guys up to try star as well, or just kind of going on your own? Uh, I just went on my own. You know, I try to get people. You know, some of the guys are trained with in the Boston area to come up and train, but you know, just logistics, they couldn't really do it. You know, but uh, you know, I, I have uh, you know my jiu-jitsu coach is Kevin Landry. He's here at the fight with me uh for Raza hobby's coming and also uh dave luazo is gonna be in the corner nice nice anything else you want to say uh no i'm just excited and then uh thanks to htfu for their sponsorship for this fight um and uh i'm looking forward to it all right this man rick Hahn, in the main event for bellator's debut on spike tv against mike chandler this thursday night you can catch it like we said on spike tv